up guys, King Ranch 13 and today we're getting ready to go down to Lake Charles to take a couple things down that uh, our church is donating. We're donating some blankets, some warm clothes, some other supplies and things like that. And so I'm getting the trailer loaded up here and gonna hook it up to my side by side, take it over to the church and get it filled up. And then tomorrow morning I'll be taking that down there and also I'm gonna be going down there to work on another customer's truck that happens to be right there in Lake Charles. It's gonna be pretty cool to be able to knock those two things out. Thank y'all so much for watching. Thank y'all so much for all the support. <sighs> Sorry, my, if I'm talking a little quieter, my throat's kind of been killing me the last couple days. Hopefully I'm not getting sick. Thank y'all again. I really appreciate it. It means the world to me that y'all supporting my business, my YouTube channel, my Instagram and Facebook and all that and it's just, really cool to be able to be in a position where I can uh, be able to give back and take care of my community. All right, I need to come back a little bit and actually check this up. There we go. Not a bad looking setup. Oh man, I hope these doors are open. Nope. Huh. I'll go ahead and open this door. Used to be an old motorcycle trailer that my papa used to use. Alrighty, here we go. Got the trailer filled up. Not a crazy amount of stuff, but this is what our, our church has donated to um, people down in South Louisiana that need it. So I could have fit it in the back of my truck, I guess, but at the same time, I've got all my tools and stuff like that that I need to take back there as well. And so I don't want to risk having anything fly out, any of those bags getting wet because uh, there's people down there really need it. All right, so I'm probably gonna just skip to me driving down there tomorrow morning. All right, y'all, so this is the next morning and you can hear from my voice. I don't know what happened last night, but I don't know where my throat started hurting real bad and all that stuff. So I was debating on whether to go or not this morning, but mama ain't raised no quitter. So I'm still gonna go down there gonna grind and get all the donations and stuff dropped off because I know the people really need them and then I'll come back home and I'll take it easy for the next couple days so I can get better from whatever I got hopefully it's not a strep throat or anything like that because that would suck it already sucks so but we're gonna go on down there we've got 
about two hours and 45 minutes left to go. So I'll go ahead and skip to whenever we get there. Just my luck. I don't know why this crap happens to me when I'm always down. Gotta roll with the punches, I guess. Yep. Alright. Just got done wrapped up working on Devin's truck, and so we're down in Lake Charles, and he's having to live out at this camper right now. But here she is, it's 2020 F 250 Lariat. You got two inch wheel spacers with some uh, Fury. 35, 1250, 20, Country Hunter MTs. Looks pretty good. We just got done wrapped up with it. Actually, I'll go ahead and uh, do a little exhaust tone inside the garage. Let's see how she sounds. Sounds pretty good. He works actually at Bolton Ford, so I'm gonna drive over there and pick him up and let him take a ride in his truck. Good looking rig. Yeah, I saw you were getting like 15 or something like that. That is weird talking to the camera, ain't it? Yeah, it is. How long did it take you to get used to that? Uh, I'm still not used to it. <laughs> it's like talking to nobody. Is there an exhaust break on? Yeah, I do that just to hear that whistle a little oh. more. But you can do whatever. What's it on right now? It's set on one. One? But even with one, you notice it. Difference. Yeah. You can take it off that tow hole. Oh, that's. Dude, when I, I seen yours, I was running. Uh, I started running the eco mode. Yeah. And running, it started running. I was getting like 18, 19 miles a Yeah. It makes a difference. Though. I've been waiting on you, your other videos to put up. You ain't had a chance to do them, man. I've got three videos I still got to edit. <laughs> like, people don't think about it, but it takes, right. like, 
it takes probably a good six hours or so every video for me to edit. That's not including, you know, making the video, you know, like yeah. shooting the video. Then you gotta go in and edit all the parts out of right, it. Right, right. Does it take the speed limiter off too? Yes. So, two is your tow haul mode? Two, three, depending on how heavy or how low it is. Yeah, you definitely feel the difference. Yeah. Two. You put in two? Yeah, just two. I yeah. drive in five. Yeah, that's... That's usually where I got the best fuel economy on all. Yeah. These, which this one was a little bit taller because of my trailer. I gotta yeah. put my Gen Y hitch up. It looks funky instead of on the bottom. Oh, if it, instead of it sitting yeah. on the bottom on the on, by the bed. Got that Gen Y. You want to get on it a couple times? That turbo sounds good. Alright, so we're done with Devin's truck and now we are heading to the church where we were working at a few weeks back and dropping off the donations so what time is it now almost three o'clock and I need to get back on the road going back up to Columbia by three because I've got worship practice at church at six and it's about a three hour drive so wish me luck hopefully I make it in time all right y'all so we just got here Man, it looks totally different from when we were here last time. I guess they've got a tent set up where people can drive through and get all the supplies and keep all the supplies out of the rain because last time it was all out in the yard and in the grass and parking lot. So let me see if I can figure out a way to get in here to drop off all the stuff for them. Thanks for watching. Just a little bit about kind of what's been going on and I've got more videos coming out for y'all. Comment down below and let me know what more things y'all wanted to see. I'm going to be getting ready for uh, opening season on Thursday uh, this week for Bo. So I'm excited about that. But I need to get over this cold first. So if you have any remedies that you know of that helps get over colds and whatever I may have, let me know down below in the comments. I really need it. Alright guys, take care. Bye.